Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Dude Munch A7, Marco Valentine. I'm currently, like, drunk as shit in this old Jamaican tavern, and, uh, I kind of forgot isn't the right word to put it as, but I kind of didn't make a gameplay video yesterday on Wednesday the way I normally do it, but that's just because, uh, I went to school to get my, uh, uh, senior year of schedule, because this year is my plus year of high school, whatever. And, uh, because of other personal reasons that I will not go into detail, because they're my own reasons and my own alone. But, you know what, so I'm making this video, like, a day late, and I'll still make the one on Friday. But, uh, also, speaking of school, I would also like to remind you that, uh, as my school schedule stands, I try to... Well, I mean, I'm not going to be very busy at the beginning of the year anyway, but typically my school year gameplay schedule is, uh, instead of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday during the week, instead it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday on the weekend. So to those who do watch my gameplays, of course, the schedule change will take place starting next week. So this upcoming Monday, there will be no gameplay video. However, I will still try to make them uh, every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, as much as I can, obviously. But, uh, you know, just letting you know of that uh, schedule change that's coming up. So, uh, anyway. I am hallucinating like shit, because, like, more than half... Actually, no, all of these people are dead, never mind. Here's to gentlemen of fortune okay, well, actually, no, Charles Vane is still alive. At least so far, I think. I mean, he was alive in a prison, but, you know, I don't know if he's still alive now. Who knows? Uh, him? No, I think he's dead, too. I can't remember his fucking name. He was a pansy, though, but yeah, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Is that me in that little cage thing behind him? Like, prisoner me? Nice, so anyway. Holy shit, whoa. Swim, Edward. Swim for your life. Oh, shit. Sharks. That's not good. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. So, anyway. Uh, but, uh, something else I'd like to mention is that, uh, because of this, uh, stupid fucking DDoS attack thing, uh, like, PlayStation Network and other servers, like, I think Xbox Live was also affected. And apparently Twitch, I mean, I don't use Twitch, I mean, or Xbox Live for that matter. But apparently they are also momentarily or are currently affected by this whole, like, DDoS thing. By these stupid fucking internet hacker dudes. Apparently named Lizard Squad, which is fucking retarded. I don't even know what that's supposed to even mean. Lizard Squad, whether that's a reference to something, or if they thought that that's cool. Because that really just sounds like some sort of stupid cartoon type shit from the 90s. Like, I don't know. Well, it's funny, anyway. It's stupid, and uh, PSN is still down currently. That means you can still play games, just don't, like, you can't really do, like, anything online. Which sucks, because I was interested in, uh... Because my brother is really into racing games, and he had, uh been talking about the game The Crew for the longest time. I probably shouldn't be talking throughout this entire thing, but I just have stuff to talk about. Uh, it's upsetting this whole part. I'm so close, Caroline. Please, just let me do this. Everything you do, I'll Oh, hey, what's up? It's not spite that's driving me, Mary. It's courage. Courage for what man? Hey, it's anyway. But, uh, fuck it, I don't know, there's some spells for a reason. <laughs> I really I shouldn't talk in the middle of these cutscenes, but I'm sorry, man, there's just stuff to talk about. Oh, this is a hallucination anyway, this doesn't matter, basically. But, uh, so anyway. But, uh, so, I was interested in trying to get into the crew, because it looks like a really good racing game, and the beta is out right now. I'm not sure... If the beta is like what well, they, I am like freaking knocked the fuck out on the ground right now, but uh, I'm not sure if the beta is kind of like what what they did for Destiny, like if you pre-ordered the game, then you get access to the beta, or if it's completely open. I'll hopefully find out soon if this DDoS shit stops. Captain Kenway. Okay, now I'll shut up. You look like a bowl of plum duff. I don't know Christ. what plum duff is, but it sounds oh, mildly revolting. On your feet. Maybe because I just don't like plums. And I don't know what Duff means. 
I mean, it's a beer and the Simpsons. Put me on but... the spot, Addy. After leaving me with Robert, I shall have hard feelings about seeing you here. But mostly, I'm bloody glad. <laughs> Aw, bromance. Me too, brother. Okay, wait, where are tough to know your Jack Daw is still in one piece. Oh yeah, this is another thing I should mention if I don't have them, so but we set let's sail. see. Oh, you're leaving. Man. I, Edward. But I have another calling elsewhere. Ade, listen. When your heart and your head are ready, visit the assassins. I think you'll understand then. <laughs> Sorry, burping. Anyway, let's see if I have my swords. Oh wow, I still have the Blades of Toledo. Awesome. Uh, see, the reason why I was wondering where my swords were is because, uh, also, I think as a result of this DDoS thing, this whole ABSM thing, it was taking, like, forever for, uh, the Ubisoft, like, Uplay networks and stuff to check my season pass and whatever for the game. And, uh, like, I was about to cancel the operation, but it said that if I do that, then, uh, some items that I access through Uplay, through the Uplay service, uh, may not be available. So I'm like, uh, you know what, fuck it, I'll just do without the Blades of Toledo. But apparently I still have them. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. Not really gonna be able to use them, because there's only, like, a little over three minutes left in this episode. And even when I get over here, there's still more exposition stuff to go, so... Sorry, this video is, once again, gonna be just a whole lot of exposition, but hey! Even if I had done it yesterday, the video would still be the same. So, I mean, I don't know. There will more than likely be lots of action shit next episode, which is tomorrow, because I'm making this one late. Which I apologize for, but you know, complications arose and had yet to be overcome until this point. So, uh, yeah, but now we're here. What's up, Addy? We're talking, like, what, a minute ago? Ah, oh, cracking my knuckles. Oh yes. Ah, uh, okay. Jesus, Ade, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. Mm. I'm not an easy man to call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins. And their creed, a more honorable cause. Have I been unfair? No. For years I've mm. been rushing around taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those what I is heard. Tinker's curse. And yet here I am, with riches and reputation, feeling no wiser than when I left home. Oh my God! Yet when I'm I turn cracking around, my toes as well. Of course I've run. There's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. Kind of just standing there. It was time there. to make amends, Captain Kent. Mary. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her. To sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? Mary was fond of you, Edward. She saw something in the like still that gave her talk hope to my one day still fight talking with us. and whatnot. Aye, she told me. And what do you think of our creed? It's hard to say. For if nothing is true, then why believe anything? And if everything is permitted, why not chase every desire? Why indeed? It might be that this idea is only the beginning of wisdom, not its final form. That's quite a step up from the Edor I met here many years ago. Kind of a shout out back to Assassin's Creed Revelations, where, like, at the end of the game, where uh, he and Sophia are going to Masyaf to open Altair's uh, so library, he kind of more explains the Creed itself more, like, in depth. Because uh, the whole nothing is true, everything is permitted thing is more like a metaphor to the nature of reality the itself. This month, I should have moved this village long ago. I brought all this upon you years ago, but I will stand by you now. It will take more than a few favors to call yourself a true assassin, Edward. One thing at a time, mate. Under attack once more. Come. 
Try to keep up, Adabai. Anyway. To the beach. Uh, pff, fuck. But the video is about to end. I'll kill some people really quick so I can at least give you guys that. But, uh, yeah, as to the whole thing being, like, a metaphor for the nature of reality... Ah, crap. Yeah, okay, timer. Uh, but anyway. Right, up here and into the trees. Ah, no, I wanted to hang him! Damn it. Okay, fine. No, I don't want to pull him near. I... Fuck, okay, whatever. Killed him. Done. Anyway. So, uh... The whole, like, nothing is true, everything is permitted thing is just, like, a metaphor, really. Because, like, it's true that in this life, nothing really is true. You make truth of what you believe. And, uh, everything is permitted because, theoretically, you can do exactly whatever the fuck you want if you feel like it. But it's just that there will be repercussions for those actions you take. Ah, I'm in the middle of this fight right now. Why am I still using fucking those? I was wondering why am I using my hidden blade? I'm not using my sword. Ah, screw you. Ah, come on! Let me kill him. My captain dude is not letting me kill him. Hey, fuck you, don't hurt my friend. And okay, there's a lot more to do in this mission, but that should be pretty much the end of it, at least right now. So I will see you tomorrow. Laters!